Well, that's exactly what we did, Andy. We changed the game of email. People like to share by email, but it's a problem. They've been forced to zip it. They've been forced to use FTP. With Pando, no need for FTP, no need for WinZip. You can attach up to one gigabyte to your email. Now here's how we did it. We built this media delivery platform and it has many different ways to plug in. Recently we released the ability, you install Pando on your computer, and we released the ability for you to say, plug it into my Outlook email, plug it into my web email programs, and we support AOL webmail, Yahoo webmail, Hotmail and Gmail. And what happens is from within any of those email programs, you send like you normally send. And if your limit is normally 10 megabytes, you just hit attach. Attach anything. Don't worry about it anymore. And when you attach a 500 megabyte file or folder, a little pop-up window will say, hey, this is bigger than your 10 megabyte limit. Do you want to pando it? Why? How? Because it knows you've got Panda on the computer and you've activated it to work with that program. And then if you just say, yes, go ahead and send it, it will just send the email like it normally does. Now your recipient will receive it and it will say, Andy sent you this 500 megabyte video. In order to get it, if you don't have Pando, you need Pando, but click here, it's free to install. And once they install 2 megabyte program Pando, they can download that 500 megabyte video. They did it from inside their email, they received it, you sent it from inside your email, and neither of you paid for that privilege. It doesn't slow the system down at all. In fact, it's actually going around the system. So this does not affect your Exchange server. This does not affect your attachment storage limit on your webmail program. Because what we're actually doing is a little bit of Pando magic. And we're creating a smaller attachment that goes that the recipient, when they click on it, gets redirected from their normal email server to our server, which finds where it is on the network and delivers it.